Hello everybody and welcome to Aomori Prefecture and today we are in Hirosaki City and right now we are at the area called Neputa Mora. Neputa is a festival held every August here in uh, Hirosaki but also in Aomori City and other cities throughout Aomori Prefecture. So uh, this is Neputa Mora. We can learn about the festival and see some of the floats that they put on display. Uh, also, other cultural things uh, are highlighted here. You can see it's kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a small shopping center slash tourist facility. And uh, they also have other uh, performances and events. And actually, we're going to see a performance for the uh, Tsugaru Jamisen, which is a special kind of instrument, a stringed instrument that is performed and played here in Hirosaki. So uh, some restaurants here in Hirosaki uh, have performances where you can enjoy the dinner and hear the music at the same time. But I think we're just going to check out the music here at Nepotamura. So if I can, I'm going to film it. And if I can't, then uh, I'll tell you what it's like after I watch the performance. So let's go in and check out Nepotamura. Okay, so we're going to go through the storehouse. You can see here it has been preserved and this is where they used to store rice. But uh, we're going to walk through. I'm not going to talk as we walk through, but uh, there are some people in here making uh, local arts and crafts. I think there's a man making uh, a special type of chopstick. And uh, there's a traditional game. There's a woman uh, doing traditional pottery that's local to the area and uh, some other things. So let's just walk through and then you can see some of the local arts and crafts here in Hirosaki.
Damn it, Jack. All right, so now we just walked out of the uh, the main building here, and it uh, leads you right into a traditional Japanese garden. So let's walk through it together. Of course, one of the things about a Japanese garden is as you go around to different areas, you have a different view, and you can appreciate different scenery from different angles. So, uh, yeah, as you probably know, I uh, did not include the uh, performance of the Tsugaru Jamisen in the video. They said it's okay to film, it's okay to take pictures and videos, but uh, you cannot put it on social media or on YouTube. So I left it out, I recorded I kept it for myself, but I'm sure you can find videos somewhere of um, the traditional Tsugaru Jamisen online so please check it out it was a very good performance and actually the guy who performed for us won a contest to be one of the best players here in Hirosaki so anyway this is just a little stroll around the Japanese garden here at Nefuta Mura okay see ya all right hello everybody and welcome to Hirosaki castle and I don't know if you can see in the video or not let me zoom in there it is yeah, that is Mount Iwaki in the distance there. So this is the most famous thing to see here in Hirosaki Castle. And just uh, some quick information about it. It was built in 1611 by the Tsugaru clan, which this area of... Uh, today it's Aomori Prefecture, but in the past it was called Tsugaru. So the Tsugaru clan. Uh, so yeah, some of the uh, parts of the castle have been destroyed. Uh, most of it has been destroyed and rebuilt, uh, but uh, what you're looking at now was rebuilt in the year 1810. So, anyway, um, so here on the castle grounds you can see um, many, many uh, cherry blossom trees, and uh, there are 2,500 cherry blossom trees here. So. If you come here at the end of April, beginning of May, you can see it in full bloom. Many, many people will be here. Lots of events happening. And uh, yeah, I have seen it ranked as the number one cherry blossom spot in all of Japan. Um, even more than Tokyo or Kyoto. So it's a super, super famous place to come for the cherry blossoms. So uh, anyway, we're going to go inside the castle and I'll show that to you when we get there. Okay, see ya. Okay, everybody, so we have reached the top of the castle. It's a three-story castle. Usually uh, castles are much taller, but this one is three stories, and this is the view out to the east. So let's take a look out from each direction. You can see it's pretty simple here on the inside. And then here's a uh, reconstruction of the castle. And of course, this is the main view here of Mount Iwaki in the distance. And lastly, the view to the south. <clears throat> All right, so right now is a really good time to see uh, the castle from uh, from this side, which is actually the main entrance right here. It's kind of it seems like the back side But uh, that is where the entrance is It's about 430 in the afternoon the lights coming in and really shining really nicely onto the castle And then you come down here just outside the castle and then you can see the moat Here down below and then right there straight ahead Is Mount Iwaki a very very beautiful beautiful mountain and it is 1,624 meters high. It's the tallest mountain in Aomori Prefecture. In feet, that'd be 5,330. So, uh, very beautiful mountain. Very similar to Mount Fuji with the shape. 
Uh, but yeah, very, very nice views of the mountain and the castle here at, in Hirosaki. So uh, again, in uh, 1627, uh, lightning struck the castle and burned it down. But it was rebuilt in the year 1810, which is still not considered modern times in Japan. So it's one of the few castles um, to be built before the modern era of Japan. So a uh, very old historic castle here uh, in Hirosaki. So anyway, I think that's it for um, the castle grounds. So we'll go somewhere else and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so just outside the uh, castle grounds, just across the street is a former samurai district. And so we have crossed the street and um, it's just the first building you see when you cross the street is this one here and this is the Ishiba residence so um, there was a small fee I think it was 100 yen or about one dollar to come in but uh, you can see inside the house of um, a samurai family so again this is the Ishiba residence and it is still a store actually it's a liquor store they're uh, out front anybody can come in and just go to the store and then pay the small fee and then you can come back here and you can see a very historic house. So this is what it looks like. And actually the family still lives here today. The old traditional doors. And not so much to see back there, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is just a basic idea of what it looks like inside these old traditional homes just across the street from Hirosaki Castle in the former Samurai District. Okay, see ya. Okay, everybody, so now we are in the Samurai District, and uh, we're going to take a short walk, and I'm not sure if you can see it right now uh, with the sun, but uh, that is now Iwaki there in the distance. So we're going to take a short walk here in the Samurai District so you can get a feel for uh, what it looks like. It's very, very peaceful here. You can see they've kind of preserved the stone road here. And uh, it is still, uh, today, people live here. So um, it's a very historic district and uh, it's kind of maintained some of that traditional feel uh, of a former Samurai District. So we're going to walk a little bit and I'm going to give you a little information about uh, Hirosaki, the city itself. And um, back in the Edo period, uh, Hirosaki was the political and cultural capital of this area, the uh, Tsugaru region. Today it's Aomori Prefecture. And yeah, it's just a culturally rich city. It's one of the uh, most culturally rich cities in uh, the Tohoku region. And of course the castle is uh, the most famous thing to see. And as I said, it's one of the uh, most famous, possibly the number one best place to view cherry blossoms in all of Japan. Uh, anything else? Yeah, as I mentioned, the Tsugaru Jamisan is very famous, and we saw that performance at Neputa Mura. And uh, like I said, some of the uh, restaurants here in Hirosaki have performances, so you can enjoy local food and enjoy the local music as well. So I think that's kind of the basic information here. And we're going to finish the video here. This is the Iwata residence. And uh, it is open to the public. But, uh, well, normally it's open, but today it's closed. It's the day that they're closed. But you can see this is the main gate going in. And it has very beautiful shrubs and bushes on the outside. So anyway, this is the old Iwata house here in Hirosaki. All right, so this is going to be the end of our <laughs> video. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's a, it's a very beautiful city. <laughs> and it's not too big. It's a peaceful town. And uh, the castle is very nice. And definitely go over to Neputa Mura <laughs> as well. Neputa Mura, Yeah, you can see the traditional performances, <laughs> learn about the festival and local arts and crafts and souvenirs and things like that so anyway i think that's kind of uh it for uh hirosaki so thank you so much for watching the video hope you liked it if you did please click like down below leave a comment subscribe to the <laughs> channel 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm on Instagram and Twitter as well, so please follow me there. I'm posting pictures of extra things that didn't make it into the video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.